Hi, I'm Matt Damaris, founder of Energy Catalyst. Today we're going to show you a geothermal retrofit that works for homes with existing baseboards or radiators. We're here in Peekskill, New York. This is a 1950s home that's been heated with these old cast iron radiators for its entire life. And people love their radiators, so we want to reuse all of that same existing infrastructure to heat their home moving forward. Commonly, a contractor would look at this building and see the high temperature hot water coming from the hot water boiler, and they would say, the only option here is to convert the entire system to forced hot air. And that was true, but not anymore. Energy Catalyst has invented a geothermal heat pump that is designed specifically to convert buildings that have existing hot water to geothermal without converting to forced hot air. What we do is we supply hot water to the baseboards and radiators, and then we supplement that heat with forced hot air that only goes from the basement to the first floor. Our double hybrid heat pump uses the stable 50 degree temperature of the surrounding earth as a source of heat. The heat pump absorbs the heat and moves it into your building at higher temperature hot water and hot air simultaneously. The refrigerator in your home uses a similar process. It moves heat from inside the box to the outside. This home has an existing cast iron, oil-fired hot water boiler. This is a really common boiler. Some may be heated with gas or propane, but there are millions like this in homes throughout North America. Upstairs, we have generously sized cast iron radiators. When we reduce the temperature from 180 to 120 degrees, we're going to reduce the heating capacity of these radiators to about one third of their original. But that's okay for these three reasons. First, older homes like this one usually have excess heating capacity. Over the life of the building, installation of better windows, insulation, and air sealing improve the building envelope while the radiators remain the same size. Second, we've done extensive studies on many buildings, including this one, that show that the radiators are used less than 40% of the time, even on the coldest days of the year. We can decrease capacity and increase the runtime to maintain comfort in the home, running it low and slow. Finally, our geothermal system provides passive hot air to supplement radiator heat. Our system can adapt to the capacity of the building, providing more or less hot air as needed. You can be sure that you will have your building warm and comfortable all year round. This building, like many others, has been retrofitted many, many times over its history. So you can see there's wires in these joists and there's pipes that are always getting in the way. But one advantage of the double hybrid is that you only have to run ductwork from the basement to the first floor. Here, we place the ductwork evenly around the first floor with the return in the center. And the bonus is that all of this can be reused for ultra high efficiency cooling on the first floor during the summer. Next step is the drilling. Most homes, even on a small lot, are eligible for geothermal, as long as the lot is wide enough to have a driveway. The geology works almost anywhere in the United States. Energy Catalyst handles all of the drilling coordination, equipment sizing, permitting, and incentives for our clients. If you've ever seen a water well, you know that there's this piece of steel that sticks up from the bottom of it. It's basically what they're putting in here. So we're doing two 350 foot uh, twister loops and uh, that'll give us enough heat to, to satisfy the building for decades to come. The idea here is instead of using one inch and a quarter pipe, we're using eight quarter inch pipes. You can see from just the way it's twisted, you get much better surface area on the product and it gives you better heat exchange on the ground. We have four pipes going down. They loop around in this header, which is prefabricated at a factory, and then they come back. So we have eight pipes total. It gives you a lot of surface area and a better heat exchange. So a typical project outside portion of it can be done comfortably within a week, a regular business week, no matter the size of the building. In some cases it could be done in as little as three days. We'll probably finish both holes here today, and then we'll do the trenching another day, and then it'll all be done. Once the holes are drilled, the drilling contractor installs the twister loop in the hole and seals it up with thermally conductive grout. 
The grout is composed mostly of bentonite, which is a naturally occurring clay, and this prevents groundwater contamination and also improves the heat transfer between the heat exchanger and the surrounding earth. Once the geothermal loops are installed, we need to bring them inside the home. Using an excavator, a trench is dug and the pipes are connected into the building. Any drill cuttings or leftover grout are pushed into the trench to leave clean topsoil on the surface. Grass usually grows back within a few months of the project's completion, and the ground heat exchanger will be a continuous source of energy for the home for the next 50 to 100 years, and may even outlive the building. Energy Catalyst partners with local contractors to help assist with geothermal projects. Experienced, high-quality contractors who are comfortable with boilers or furnaces, but may not be so comfortable doing the outside portion of the job. In fact, many of these contractors aren't even certified geothermal installers. But where we can he help them is that we can provide the ground loop design. We can actually drill for them outside, run the trench, run, do all the perform all the grouting. And that way when they get to the job, this is what they're gonna see. They're gonna see a couple of pipes coming through the wall. They will see that these gauges are under pressure and they, and they should see that it's still holding. So let's give it a test here. I'll try it. Allow you to see it. There you go. So behind me is the geothermal heat pump, but before we get there, I wanna talk about our hydronic buffer tank and thermal storage tank. What this basically does is it stores some of the hot water for later use and also has integrated electric backup heat. So in the event of an extreme you know, weather condition, then we have a, a little bit of extra capacity to provide more heat to the building. And you'll notice this hot water tank is basically right where the boiler used to be. So it ties in perfectly into all of the existing infrastructure. You can see it included with our tank, we have a, these pre-mounted pumps, circulator pumps. One of them brings water to and from the hot water tank to the heat pump. The other delivers hot water to the building. And so this is uh, kind of all assembles as a kit. And if you come over here for a second, here we have a geothermal flow center. This mounts onto the heat pump and there's already pre-threaded screws, so it just goes on there in a, a few seconds. And then what this does is it delivers the groundwater from the outside heat exchanger to and from uh, the heat pump. Right here we have the hot water, which is used for heating the hot water and eventually domestic hot water for the building. And then if you come over here, what you can see is we have this really nice display. The display allows you to see what the system is doing, what calls for heat there may or may not be, um, and it can display all 11 temperature points as well as two pressure points within the unit. And then what's kind of neat is if I come over here, so if there's any faults with the system, if there's any diagnostics that, that look like there may be a problem, it will display it here in plain text. So if you're a technician coming to look at the unit or to troubleshoot it, you can just read right in there, okay, this is the issue, and now you know how to fix it. So this is one of many ways in which we're trying to make it a little bit faster and a little bit easier to install a geothermal heat pump system into a home that has existing hot water infrastructure. My name is Matt Damaris. I'm the founder of Energy Catalyst, and thank you for listening.